Good morning. This is Rich Nelson with Allendale. We're doing a special buddy update here covering USDA's report this morning. Uh, today, of course, is November 10th, 2014, and today's report is the, is the monthly supply demand report from USDA. In terms of corn here, the trade was expecting an increase in production and also a slight increase in, uh, in ending stocks as well. The USDA actually gave us a little bit of, surpri- of a surprise this month here. Uh, in terms of uh, yields, USDA dropped them from 174.2 down to 173.4. Looking at my breakdown as far as yields, I see as far as the states that we're looking at here, Iowa was actually lowered by about two bushels, 185 down to 183 now. Minnesota down from 170 last month to 165 for this month. So it was Iowa and Minnesota as harvest progressed northward uh, that caused USDA to revise its yield numbers down. So we actually did see a decrease in production instead of the increase the trade was expecting. Uh, and as far as other issues on the uh, balance sheet here, we saw about a 25 million bushel increase in, uh, in ethanol that the trade was not expecting for this uh, particular report here. So as a whole for corn, we lowered it from 2.081 uh, uh, billion bushel ending stocks down to 2.008. So instead of an increase over 2.1, we're now solidly at 2.0. Still a very large crop, still a number which is not going to give us any serious rallies from here. But as far as the trade's mindset, maybe a very slightly positive uh, a viewpoint for right now here. Over on the world side, no real uh, changes for any other uh, production areas we need to speak of here to, to highlight here. Uh, yes, Mexico has increased about a million and a half. In terms of other, other, other numbers, Argentina and Brazil were left unchanged. So as far as the U.S. balance sheet, yes, it's, it, it did tighten up a little bit here. Still a very, very large number to speak of here. Over on the soybeans, the trade was expecting an increase in production, but a decrease in ending stocks. Now, in terms of the uh, increase in production, that did happen here. Uh, we now have a, uh, a yield of 47.5 bushels per acre up from last month's 47.1. Uh, as far as key states, you know, USDA left most of the states unchanged. I will point out that Iowa, Iowa was raised by about one bushel, Nebraska up by about one bushel, North Dakota and uh, up by one bushel, and South Dakota up by two bushels here. Uh, South Dakota at 45 bushels an acre here. So as a whole, you know, a moderate increase in, in supply was seen here. Uh, what we didn't see was a large jump in demand. USDA only raised crush by about 10 million bushels from last month, and uh, they only raised exports by about 20 million bushels from last month. The trade is very likely going to keep their their mindset unchanged as far as soybeans. They probably will say USDA will have to recognize a little better demand in the coming reports here. As a whole, though, USDA left ending stocks unchanged at 450. So the number as far as increase in supply was offset by an exact increase in demand here. On the world side, I'm looking at the uh, production numbers right now. Argentina and Brazil were left unchanged on this report here. Uh, as far as the key numbers on China that we always watch, uh, USDA did increase their estimate of crush, but not the estimate of imports. Uh, that was a little surprise here for us. Uh, a lot of people in the trade had been pointing out that uh, though China had a low number for the month of October as far as imports and also a low expected number for November, that uh, they would have to ramp up numbers in the coming months. Maybe USDA is going to wait and see exactly what that ramp up is uh, as the U.S. crop gets to their shores as well as in a few months once the South American crop gets to their shores as well. So as a whole, USDA left ending stocks unchanged on the U.S. side, 450 million bushels. You can call that mostly neutral uh, for the most part here. Over on the wheat side of things here, uh, U.S. team actually made a little surprise here for us. They dropped the wheat crop, which is, of course, already harvested. Uh, they went from 2.035 uh, to about 2.026. Not a big change as far as anything uh, to speak of here, but uh, with no changes on demand, that did help lower the ending stock estimate from 654 million bushels to 644. So we saw a lower uh, lower number on ending stocks, but the trade was expecting in, an increase here. And it's very likely the trade still going to suggest that the increase will be seen in future reports. Bottom line here is USD did not address our demand problem on the wheat side, uh, especially exports here, which the trade feels that they will have to address in the coming months here. Uh, over on the world side of things as far as world production, uh, looking at the list, I actually see no changes for any uh, any other countries as far as production, and uh, really no major change as far as the ending stock side here. So as a whole, 
The USDA did uh, lower corn ending stocks in this report for the U.S. side. They left numbers unchanged on soybeans. And as far as wheat, they also lowered them a little bit here. As a whole, especially considering the fact that we've rallied into this report, very unlikely they're going to have a massive rally after this report uh, just on these numbers by themselves. If you have any questions about the markets, marketing, or trading in general, feel free to give Alan a call here. Our number is 1-800-2-MARKET.